the following was captured by a young man who was documenting his yo-yo practice and he states that ever since moving in, he had trouble falling asleep in his room at night. It all got a little eerie when suddenly his camcorder tumbled over. As the man is looking under the bed to get his yo-yo, it appears that he captured a creepy looking head. He didn't even notice it at the time. But some believe that this might be the reason why he is having such a hard time to fall asleep. Is it an entity that was looking at him here? Creepy. This video was uploaded by Exploration Unknown, which is run by John in Tennessee. The channel is focused on visiting abandoned and unusual locations, so it's not surprising that he may have run-ins with the paranormal. The clip was filmed at the abandoned Brushy Mountain State Prison, which is known to be a haunted location, and was filmed at approximately 3 am. It appears that the group is visiting some sort of basement or parking structure or parking structure in the prison, just exploring and capturing some footage, when they happen to catch this on camera. Is your name Leroy? Dude, I just heard something from like another room. I heard something back that way. Dude, you hear that talk? You hear that? I hear a man's voice. Somebody might have caught us here, dude. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, what was that? Take a look at the far right of the screen. A strange shadow is suddenly caught moving in the back portion of the room. It doesn't seem like the shadow aligns with any of the people present. It definitely has a humanoid shape. Although it is quite hard to tell in the darkness of the prison, it's tricky to say what could have caused this sighting, although the uploader does believe it was a shadow figure. Viewers also have commented that the negative energy in the video leads them to believe it was a paranormal capture. I suppose we will never know for sure what was captured at that abandoned prison. But it's pretty ominous. The following is another unsettling recording, which has been captured and shared by user Leon. He uploaded the following footage to the paranormal section of Reddit. He and two of his friends were out that night to check out a supposedly haunted and abandoned building. And what their camera captured can only be described as quite intriguing. He states, We were investigating the administration building of the Norwich CT State Hospital. We didn't find much that night, but believed to have caught the voice of a ghost girl and a weird white figure. Been having trouble sleeping since this happened. Believe it or not, but that voice you hear was unaccounted for. The girl was not part of the group, so it is believed that they might have captured a ghost girl. Other people say that this could also be a case of stone tape theory. This theory claims that a person's energy in their moments of death can be imprinted on certain stones and can be replayed under the right conditions. You 
but they also captured this. I don't know. You heard that. Dude, I swear. God, it wasn't. A really odd white object is leaning towards the left side of the door, but it's too hard to say what exactly it was. If it was related to the voice, maybe it was the spirit of a former patient. Who can say for sure? The following is an older but still gold recording that was captured by a hospital worker one late night. He was the only person left on the wing at the time, since this part had been abandoned for a few months already, and he was just cleaning up a few things, when all of a sudden a creepy noise could be heard, and then they started recording the following. A strange inhumane figure is leaning into the frame from the right, and it seems slightly tinted in a brown color, almost see-through. Safe to say that this was no ordinary human, which gives the reason to assume that this perhaps was one of the lingering spirits that still roam this old part of the hospital. Creepy. Now we are taking a look at some CCTV footage, which stems from an old sewer tunnel system located somewhere in Europe. The story goes that a lot of sketchy stuff was going on in these systems back in the day, and that to this day workers still see the eerie outlines of spirits down there. Apparently the following footage is showing us one of these instances. A woman seems to appear at the end of the sewer tunnels, but also the light flickers just moments before she appears on camera, that's quite strange. And as mysteriously as she appears, she vanishes. Only moments after that, there is a dark shadow that is making it towards the end of the tunnel as well. Which is pretty inexplicable to many. What do you think happened here? I couldn't say, to be honest. The following case has been documented by Alexander, who states that he has moved into a new apartment at the time. Things were really strange right from the beginning. The day he moved in, he captured a strange lady during a walkthrough that he had recorded for his family. A sign of things to come. Another night he noticed the strange woman in the building across from him.
As Alexander is turning around towards his friend, the creepy lady seems to be standing right behind him and he didn't notice it in real life. Which means that something is very wrong with this place. He apparently is still looking into this, but it's a very creepy case for sure. Now we will follow Japanese paranormal investigator MTV, who tonight was visiting a supposedly haunted high school, which has been abandoned for a long time. He states that he had visited this place before, and that he could capture a ton of really weird noises that in his opinion were inexplicable. Tonight he brought a colleague, and they were hoping to maybe capture some of this evidence on video. Let's take a look. <laughs> MTV starts taking the first couple of pictures at the same location where he could capture a scary face the first time he visited this old high school. Then it got pretty interesting. Next to loud bangs from the second floor, the washroom area also seemed suspicious to him. So he gave this one a quick look at first. But after not finding anything on his camera, MTV then says that it is time to give the second floor a last look. And who knows, maybe he would find something there. Have you seen it? Look at the wall to the right. It appears that a head is peeking through, straight through the wall. What do you think? Nightmare material for sure. This video was shared by a driver who wasn't quite sure what to make of what he caught that night. He posted this encounter on the paranormal reddit section and stated that he felt something rather inexplicable was going on that night. He was on his way home from war and on this particular stretch of road where the incident was captured, ghostly sightings are nothing rare. Even some of his family members stated that they also have seen ghosts on the road. But of course nothing ever was documented on their part. What really struck the driver as odd is that his radio malfunctioned after he passed by a pale figure.
what would a woman be doing there late at night? Not to mention that this is pretty dangerous, of course, standing so close to the road. Many people have the opinion that maybe in fact this was one of the several paranormal encounters that seem to take place here ever so often. Is this realistic in your opinion? Quite weird how the skin of this lady is a bit illuminated almost, just like her dress. And what about the radio interference? What a strange coincidence. The next recording was shared by Dr. Morerte and he tells me that it was captured by a young man who thinks that he's living in a pretty haunted place. He was alone that night. Okay, Somebody standing? Something seems to frighten this young man quite a bit, but I can't tell you what it is. Oof, hard to say. I mean, there is something. And now we want to take another look at the case of Dustin Lee Fraser, who recently documented his creepy encounters in his cabin. And he believes that whatever he encountered there might have followed him to his workplace, which is a diner. He's working the night shift all by himself when the following unfolds. No, because I'm freaking... Guys, um... So I just snapchatted, um my friend right and I like walked through I was and now the alarm's going off so I walked through I was walking through here and whenever you get right here, you can see something behind me. And I like watched it. I, I did like a playback um, before I sent it to him, right? And um, like there was like, I, uh, there was, and I, these lights were off. Like, I feel like I need to go to a doctor, but like, I'm constantly just like nauseous and I don't really know why. Like, I have tried to like take medicine for it and stuff, but I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it really does anything. Um, and then whenever I go and I'm just like laying down and stuff, like I can sleep and whenever I sleep um and say hey like you could oh I can't I also hate that they always keep this room so dark like come on man but anyways yeah if you wanted to swing by and say 
Hey, then, you know, we could. A dark entity seemed to be with Dustin in the diner, and while his camera captured some of the demonic noises, he himself was completely unaware of the activity. Many viewers believe that it could be the same shapeshifter that was stalking him in his cabin. Could it be so? No, it doesn't seem like it really does anything. Um, and then... Sir Bobo on Reddit, he asked the community about a strange anomaly that was recorded in his home. He states, What do we think? Camera has been going off non-stop the past month. Then we finally saw this, about 7 minutes of it. Our dog has been terrified, keeps his tail in between his legs and is hiding when no one's home. Some people mentioned that this could merely be a dust particle. But most comments say that dust is really unrealistic. The movement pattern of this orb is pretty unique. Do you think this could be a paranormal incident? Who knows what is causing it, if that's the case? Now we are looking at a decaying hospital structure, which has been left deserted for numerous decades. Local lore insists that the premises are haunted by the lingering spirits of those who met their demise within its walls. And people state that they can hear peculiar sounds and see spectral forms haunting these abandoned halls. The video was shared by an urban explorer named Pradeep. And this late afternoon, we see him navigating through its eerie corridors. At some point, we are getting confronted with a spine-chilling sight as the camera captures an unsettling image down the hallway. Upon closer inspection, it appears to be a lifeless figure on a gurney. Yet, within moments, when the camera pans back, the figure mysteriously vanished. Opinions on the authenticity of the footage diverge. It's hard to say what exactly had unfolded here that day. But it certainly makes you wonder if we became witness to an actual paranormal event here. This video was shared by Breakman, and it's a pretty interesting case. He tells us that he had received an email from a person called Yara, who is experiencing some quite baffling activity in the home of her family. They often gather on the weekends, and it was this particular night that Yara's uncle noticed something strange just a few meters away at the horse's little stable, and the horses seemed quite afraid. It seems that something of small statue is standing close to the horses. The family states that they have never seen this thing before and had no good explanation of where it could have come from. I find that it has quite the strange silhouette. And I have no good explanation either. But it certainly was frightening the horses. Was this an otherworldly encounter perhaps? What is your idea? The 
The following is an update of the bone-chilling dogman encounter that has surfaced last week. The same man kept finding this creature in the woods right in front of his house, and yet again he could pull out his phone and record this weird creature, which, as stated before, seems to be some form of dog creature. Isn't this simply terrifying? We will keep an eye open for even more of these encounters. The following video was sent by Tobias M, and he forwarded this originally from Sinistro Hendrik Alves. It was captured by a family in the United States that has had some pretty strange events unfolding in the past weeks. Apparently, they received a lot of motion alarms at night, only to be seeing weird hovering objects that were making it through their yard and driveway. This was one of their latest recordings. Could it just be spider webs or a bug? Very unlikely, says the family. It happens so frequently at night that they believe something else is going on here. What do you think? Paranormal? Or something way more rational? take a look at a pretty creepy recording that was shared by a paranormal team. User Dr. Muerte has posted it in the paranormal section of Reddit and was hoping for some answers. The team was investigating a graveyard in the midst of night and they did not come across anything unusual in the beginning. They started their night per usual, K2 meters and several EVP sessions. It was at a random point of the night however, when they were filming towards a crypt on the upper level and there were many gravestones that were surrounding the team. Once they pan the camera downwards again, something really strange appears. A small figure is walking by in what appears to be a white dress. Commentators speculate that this might even resemble a wedding dress. The statue of this apparition seems to be really small. And it does look like a female that is walking by here. It's unlikely for it to be a bug or anything. But what other explanation could this sighting have in your opinion? It's certainly a remarkable recording if it hasn't been tampered with. Maybe it was a spirit wandering around the graveyard in the middle of the night. This video was recorded by the dashcam of a man who was visiting the infamous Gettysburg Cemetery one night. There have been numerous creepy videos that freak people out over the years. 
In this case, the driver of the car was parked and didn't see anything himself at the time. His dashcam, however, kept recording and after reviewing the footage, it turned out that he might not have been alone after all. To some, it looks like the spirit of a man is walking past the cannon to the right. A man that is wearing an old uniform. It is quite hard to come up with an explanation for this recording, if it wasn't staged of course. Could this man capture a spirit, possibly reliving his days on the battlefield? What do you think? Rando Rando 66 has shared the following video of a man who believes he might have captured the old hag on the side of the road. The video received tons of upvotes and people are baffled. In Europe a hag is described as a malicious witch who is blessed with supernatural powers. The man swears that he has seen the lady disappear and that he's not fooling us. And they just disappeared when they got by the tree. I'm serious, man. There was a lady walking, and she just disappeared in the sidewalk. A friend of his crosses the street to check if there's actually anything to these claims. Right after he makes it back, the lady appears again. ¿Qué pasó, wey? Oh, wey, diga. Ahí va saliendo. It's weird because she seems to pop up right behind the car. What is that? Is it just a deceiving perspective or is there more to this story? recording was captured by traffic camera in Wessex, Britain, on which a pretty unusual creature was supposedly captured. It's not uncommon for the authorities to capture some wildlife ever so often. Today's video though was a bit different. see a busy road and then a weird creature appearing from the left side out of the darkness and scampering over all four lanes of the highway within a few seconds. What's weird about this incident is the creature's legs that are bending inwards, making many believe that we are dealing with a rather inexplicable creature here. Some say that it even looks a little bit humanoid causing some to believe that we are dealing with another shapeshifter here. Could this be? It's really hard to say what's going on for sure, but it makes one wonder. Now we want to take a look at Ghost Hunter Linfamous TV, who was recording a nightly trip to some haunted woods in Long Island. 
Mount Misery to be exact. She and her partner record some interesting EVPs here and there, but also notice some objects popping up in the distance. They could merely be bats, but that didn't mean that nothing else would be captured that night. Let's take a look. Look at these. <laughs> Isn't we have not seen trees like this throughout the whole time here. No. Look at this. No. It's like very dead here. Okay, so we came across this entrance like trail right here. And there's two little pillars on each side. After capturing more possible EVPs and some interesting light phenomena in the distance, both make it in front of something that looks like an old entrance. An entrance that wasn't there anymore. Could it maybe be a first sign that something else from a long forgotten time might still be present? And there it is. While Lynn is panning the camera towards the lower left, it captures a strange looking object that viewers suspect to either be an apparition or an alien-like creature that wasn't noticeable to the human eye. Both of them didn't see it at the time, and there's no doubt in their mind that it is not paranormal. Do you have a better explanation perhaps? Jacob had recently got a hold of a supposedly haunted jester clown doll. How? It is said that he inherited the old house of his late grandmother and the doll came with it. Interested in occult objects, he kept it in his bedroom at night. Crazy, I know. And not long after, he felt that something was extremely wrong with the doll, which caused him to store it in a different room. This particular night, he woke up to some really terrifying noises from outside of his room and he started recording. I just heard banging.
Jacob ends the video abruptly and states that he spent the night locked in his room. He wasn't willing to spend another terrifying night like that and decided that it probably would be best to keep this doll, which he calls Jeffrey, in the basement from now on. With whatever happened last night, I don't want him near me. And in general, I think I'm just scared. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be putting him in the basement, so I'm gonna follow up after I get that done. All right, guys, this is the result so far. I'm gonna leave him here for now, but I think I'm gonna put a camera here. Jeffrey's still here, so we're gonna see if there's anything I miss. From that night on, Jacob caught several really strange encounters down there in the basement. Weird shadow movement, for which he had no explanation for. Eventually, he decided that it would be smart to have a rotating camera stand to cover more angles of the basement and to make sure that he wouldn't miss any more creepy encounters taking place down there. Something moved the doll's arm, and then we hear the light bulb pop for inexplicable reasons. Jacob is sure that this is due to the possession of his doll, and that the creepy activity will continue. I can't wait to see what happens next. <laughs> 